How's it going Diablo 2 fans? I'm Switch209 and thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. This was actually inspired by the technical alpha streams where I was catching a lot of the main streamers going through and farming the Countess. And one of the things that I saw in a lot of the chats was people were asking what the differences are for the drop chances for runes when it comes to the Countess in LOD to D2R. And eventually I ended up being able to play and I started doing a little bit of Countess farming and personally, I couldn't see much of a difference. For any of you guys that are wondering how the actual technical alpha went, there's gonna be a card up above that you guys are welcome to check out. I did a fair comparison of D2R compared to regular Fluggy, where you get to see a lot of the things when it comes to D2R and the LOD side by side, so you get a fair comparison for the changes to expect when it comes to the beta testing and then overall for the final game. Also, when it comes to the chats, I saw a lot of people that were asking why she's such a special monster to be able to farm. And for a lot of my veteran Diablo 2 players, I can imagine this is not going to be news for any of you guys. But for those that are either new to the game or returning and have always wanted to know why she is so special when it comes to farming for the low to mid-level runes, such as Ist, to be able to make really good godly rune words at the end game portion of your play, or even just going through hell if you're lucky enough to get an Ist to drop, I'm going to go ahead and do a deep dive as to why she is such a special monster to be able to farm runes from when it comes to her rune drop table, which is very special and unique to her, compared to her monster drop table, which is something that all the monsters get in the game. She's also able to drop Keys of Terror to be able to do ubers for endgame play. Before we get into the video, let's go ahead and do a comment shout out from a previous video, and this comes from Lucas for my grief versus last wish video, saying, great video, keep it up. Thank you so much for the support, and I definitely will be keeping up. There are more videos coming very, very soon. Now let's get into the video. Now I think you should have your reward. The Countess has two different sets of drop tables, the first one being her monster drop table. This is the same as all of the monsters in the game, as far as being able to drop regular items. The second one is her special rune drop table, which is what everyone uses to farm runes from her. She is able to drop anything from an L to an Ist in held difficulty. She can drop up to 6 items when you kill her, and this is when you take into consideration the player setting because it will greatly affect what can drop. If you are wanting to farm her for runes, you want to do so on players 1. This is unlike any other monster in the game as typically you'd want to farm on a higher player setting to increase the no drop rate chance for any item, including runes. However, because her monster drop table rolls first, if you lessen the chances for her to drop items from that table, you would increase the chances that the remaining slots to drop anything would be filled by her rune drop table. I've personally never seen her drop more than 3 runes in any drop, so in consideration of that, if you go on players 1 and you can get 3 out of her 6 items to drop as runes, it helps to make them hopefully be the mid-level runes everyone farms her for, such as Mal and Ist. And anything above that, you should farm Lower Karost, Travancle, or play on players 8 in a level 85 area where monster density is decent. However, she can drop up to a low rune from her monster drop table, but the odds are incredibly low for that to happen. But the way Diablo 2 RNG is, you never know. If you are wanting to farm her for Keys of Terror to be able to do ubers, this is where you would want to play on players 8, as the keys will drop from her monster drop table. Playing on a higher player setting increases regular item drop chances and lowers what could drop from her rune drop table. When it comes to farming Keys of Terror, the drop rates are, from players 1 and 2, up to a 7% chance for a key to drop. Players 3 through 4 increases it up to 9.1% chance. Players 5 through 6 increases that to 9.6% chance. And finally, players 7 through 8 increases it up to 9.8% chance for a key to drop. When farming the Countess, keep in mind that RNG plays a huge role so even playing at the right player setting might yield you results that you wouldn't want. Even with the chance to drop 6 items, she could technically drop no runes and no keys, regardless of the player setting, even though keys drop at a far less rate. However, she always has the potential to do a double drop for keys. She is a monster to farm for several runs, in the hundreds or even thousands, as some have done to find their sought after runes to make powerful rune words for hell or even endgame use. And that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and were able to learn something new. Again, for my Diablo 2 vets, I can only imagine this is not news to you guys. But for anybody that's been curious or is new to the game that wanted to know, hopefully that was able to explain it well enough for you guys to be able to get a better understanding why she is looked at as the best monster to be able to farm for low to mid-level runes. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notifications to be notified whenever a new video comes out. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and share it so that way you can help me with the YouTube algorithm to be able to get this out to as many people as possible. Other than that, I hope you guys are all staying safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.